What's up YouTube? I want to do a quick uh, tabletop review of a Christmas present given to me by my mother uh, just a few days ago. Pretty awesome. Pretty excited when I, when I opened this and saw it. Uh, it is the Stanley Portable Power Station. This one, it is a jump starter, compressor, power supply. Now, initially I look at this thing um, I can tell it is not a generator so if you were gonna if you had a remote piece of property out of town that's off the grid and you wanted to do some work on it this is this is not for you this is more of a quick project bail you out of trouble type thing which is what I'm which is what I'm in the need of it's a 500 watt power inverter 350 amp 700 amp jump starter 120 PSI air compressor. It's got two plugs, 120 volt AC outlets, and then it runs 12 volt DC. It's also got a built-in LED light. I mean, I can I can think of a lot of things that I could use this for. Off the top of my head, the first thing that, that I can think of is my neighbors. I've lived next door to them for about five years now, at least 10 times, probably almost 20 times they have they don't have the best cars they have come over and asked me for a jump start and I you know I'm, I'm I try to be a good neighbor I hate jump starting people's piece of crap cars that they don't take care of with my car but I also don't want to be a bad neighbor I can just walk out there with this jump start their car off they go and uh, I am very excited about that 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 is definitely takes a load off my mind uh, the other thing is here in Phoenix we have the monsoon storms every August you usually get a few of them big dust storms all kinds of stuff power can go out all night now it's this isn't gonna help me with air conditioning or anything I'm still gonna have to sleep in a puddle of my own sweat but my thing is I have to have my cell phone I have to have my cell phone charged up and operating all the time uh, have to have it it's, it's for work. They've got to be able to get a hold of me, especially when storms are happening, because that increases my call load regarding work significantly. This will charge my cell phone. As long as I keep this thing going, which I'm pretty good about keeping my stuff up, I don't have to worry about the cell phone going down. Um, this isn't going to run my freezer or anything like that, but it, it, keeps, it keeps the phone, keeps me in comms, keeps me working. Uh, without work, you know, nothing else really matters unfortunately so that that is awesome I mean that in itself is worth having this uh, a couple other things I can think of using this for uh, I like using a tent trailer love it actually I've recently gotten away from a tent trailer and I'm thinking about turning the homemade trailer into like an expedition style trailer or even thinking about buying a small teardrop with the, you've seen those with the little kitchen in the back, sleeps two people. This would just be ideal, ideal for that. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to look in, I'm, I'm gonna get more serious about that teardrop now that I got this. Another thing is, we like to rent a cabin, kind of a remote cabin out in the middle of nowhere, and we like to go when it's snowing. We're thinking about doing that here in the next couple of weeks, actually, and to have this along on the trip, really brings me peace of mind I mean if we were out there uh, say we get snowed in bad where I can't even I can't even use the truck you know um, if anything I can use the CB radio in the cabin off of this and I was also thinking back to the trailer thing if you combine this with a solar panel and an extra battery I mean the, the sky's the limit really you could really get yourself backed up pretty good pretty good what else was I thinking oh uh, one more thing before I am I'll get to unboxing this and show it to you um, my daughter plays volleyball at school and never fails the beginning of every season we meet for the first practice they wheel the bin out it's got 30 40 volleyballs in it half of them half of them are almost flat and they got a little hand pump with a needle and you can imagine 
Guess who's going to be dragging this out of the truck next, the beginning of next season? Pump all those balls up in a few minutes. I definitely never miss the opportunity to be a hero if, uh, if, it's, if it's easy enough. So, I mean, and it just goes on and on. So I'm very excited about this. This was a present from my mother, and I really, really appreciate it. And I will get to some more actual tests. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to run a couple small power tools off of it drain this thing out see see what the limits are in this thing i'm definitely not going to abuse it it's not i'm not going to test it like that i need i want to have this around so but i am going to put it through some i'm going to put it through its paces so i can know what to expect out of it so let's uh let's get to the unboxing let's see i have opened this before i looked at it let's get it out of here I tell you what, I have had a few Stanley products before. Um, they're fine, you know. They're they're not flimsy. They're not cheap, but they're definitely not top of the line. And this uh, follows suit. I mean, it, it feels fine. It's a uh, you know you get what you pay for. This was a moderate price. I've looked into it a little bit, and it is a you know it's a moderate device. You got to take care of it. You can't beat it up. Um, let's check it out a little bit. Let's get a little flap here. There's the hose for the compressor. Let's see, that is about. Uh, you gotta, you gotta be able to get up next to your work. That's for sure. That's about a foot and a half long. Comes with. Uh, it's got a needle, a few things for are those for balls and sporting equipment. Or oh, that's for definitely inflatable toys, pool toys, uh, snow tube tube you can pull behind your boat something like that that's another thing you can blow up the tube for your boat that'd be cool let's get this put away the bottom of it here there are your jump leads now again short you've got to throw this up under the hood of the car clamp onto it and get it done but you know it gets it. It'll get it done. Yeah, I'll put those. I'll put those back later. All right. Let's see here. Now, one thing though, it doesn't like to sit up. All the controls, you've got to have this thing. I just do it like this. That's better. So bad. All right. There's the 120 outlets. There's the gauge for the compressor. That's like the the, the uh, port you get for your cigarette lighter from your car to run your 12 volt stuff that you'd have in your car. Uh, it's got a USB port for charging. That's cool. There's the switch for the inverter. Lights it up. So there's. I could use 120 off of that. There's the area light. Nothing special, uh, just a little bit of light. I, I definitely use that when you were jumping your car or airing up tires, something like that at night. It's just enough. You know, this whole thing is, it's got kind of a theme to it, just enough. But it's better than nothing, that is for sure. It's got a gauge to show you how the battery's doing. Of course, you plug this right into the 120 socket at your house, keep it charged up. Turn that light off. There's the USB. So what I'm seeing so far, you know, I like it. There's where you plug in. There's where you put the extension cord to charge it up. And it does have a feature inside. You can just leave it plugged in all the time and it'll refresh itself and all that kind of thing. So it's just always there when you always there when you need it. My uh opinion so far is yeah uh, good you know I mean light duty bail you out of trouble a lot better than nothing and for the price I mean these are just over a hundred bucks I mean how much would you pay to get off the side of the road or 
you know, to any any of the things that I mentioned before, you do that a couple of times, I mean, it easily pays for itself. So I'm very happy with it. And like I said, I will get to some light stress tests on it, you know, try to try to put this thing through its paces and see what it can do. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be fine for what, I, for what I need it for, but we will definitely find out and I will definitely, I will definitely check it out before I put it in a position to where I'm going to have to count on it. I always do that. You know, I always, whenever I get something that is something that I could end up counting on and it being important in the future, I definitely check it out first and I, I will do the same with this and I'll definitely take you along. So until then, see you next time YouTube.